Hey guys, it's Andrea here with Andrea GVSG, and today is my one week post op video. Um, I can't even believe I've made it to the other side. I feel like this has been such a long journey. Just getting my surgery date, and then it finally came, and now I'm actually a week post op. So, um, I had my surgery last Monday, August the 8th, 2016, with Dr. John Odom at Baptist East Hospital in Louisville, Kentucky. Um, let's see, my stats are, let me get my notepad out here. Um, my highest weight was 307 pounds. That's when I started this journey back in January 2016. Um, the beginning of my two week pre-op diet, I was 296 pounds. And then the day of surgery, I was 283 pounds. And today, one week post-op, I am 275 pounds. Yay! That's eight pounds since my surgery date. So I'm pretty excited about that. So um, as far as my surgery went, um, it was funny because, like I told y'all, you all may know, but I do suffer from a little bit of anxiety, generalized anxiety. And I was really, really nervous about having the surgery. I was really excited too, but I was a little bit nervous. And, you know, that weekend before, I had, you know, just prayed to God that, you know, everything would work out and that I wouldn't have any complications. The surgery would go good. You know, I was just praying to God, you know, just give me a sign. This is, I'm making the right decision. And the next morning, um, on my way to the hospital... Um, my boyfriend and I stopped at the gas station because he has to have a Coke every single morning. <laughs> He's addicted to Coke. But anyways, we went to the gas station. And I decided to go ahead and get out and get gas because I only had like a fourth of a tank. I was like, well, I'm going to go ahead and fill up. So I got out of the car. He went in to get his Coke. And I started pumping the gas. And there was music playing at the gas pumps. And it was the song, Best Day of My Life by American Authors. And I just started tearing up, welling up, and I thought, okay, this is this is a sign for sure that this is happening. It's going to be the best day of my life, and, you know, this journey is going to be amazing, and I'm going to do great, and I'm going to do just fine. So, I just started crying at the gas pumps, and I was like, oh my gosh, okay, yeah, this is it. So, when I heard that song, you know, it was just amazing. It was like, yep, the Lord is speaking to me. This is what I need to do. So... Anyways, I thought that was pretty cool. Um, but I got to the hospital that morning. Everything went as planned, pretty uneventful. They um, got me, you know, pre-op and everything ready. Started my IV and all that stuff. And the doctor came in and talked to me. And um, my surgery lasted, I think, about an hour, hour and 15 minutes at the most. It came out in uh, anesthesia just fine. And... Um, other than being like just you know tired and drowsy and stuff like that I felt pretty good you know um, they brought me to my room that day around 11 probably 11 o'clock that morning after I got out of uh, recovery and everything they gave me in my room and brought me up and um, I could not have anything to eat or drink all day long um, they did give me a few ice chips and that was it and um, I suffered from really bad dry mouth and if I, if you all are still in pre-op I would definitely recommend getting some dry mouth spray to take with you because I did not take anything like that and it was awful <laughs> so um, for those of you that haven't had your surgery yet I would definitely recommend bringing some dry mouth spray but um, anyways you know I felt good I had a couple visitors a few of my friends came and family my mom of course my boyfriend and, um, you know, I felt really good. And then, like, the middle of the night that night and the next morning, I started um, having just, like, really, not really pain, but a lot of discomfort in, you know, where the incisions were. Um, they had me up walking around the nursing station four times a shift. And so, that night, just getting out of the hospital bed, just really, it was just so sore, really, really sore. Um, that was really the only thing that was uncomfortable was just, you know, trying to get up and in and out of the bed with the soreness of my belly. Um, and then I was released the next day about three o'clock in the afternoon and I came home. 
um, and everything was going good. And then the next day, let's see, that was Wednesday. The next morning, they wanted me to start taking my vitamins right away when I got home. So the next day on Wednesday, after I had gotten home, I started taking my vitamin and I got real nauseous, like really nauseous. And even like sort of like dry human, like trying to throw up. And it like freaked me out because I thought, oh my God, am I going to rip open my new stomach? Like here I am dry even like crazy. <laughs> so I did call the doctor and they said that that was pretty normal. And um, if it continued or got worse to call them back and they would call me in a prescription for an anti-nausea medicine. But luckily it did go away within, you know, like 15, 20 minutes. It went away after I took it. And I decided not to take it. The next day because it kind of scared me so I think then I took it again on Friday and I was fine on Friday I took it and didn't have any problems well then Saturday um, when I took it I got nauseous again and threw up so I don't know I guess it's just being on full liquids maybe that first week um, and taking the vitamin it just it was just too much I don't know I haven't taken it today yet I'm probably gonna wait maybe until later on this evening and try to take it and see what happens but that was um pretty I don't know I just didn't like the fact of throwing up because I was like oh my gosh please don't let me rip these staples out in my stomach <laughs> so but anyways um you know I just spent the week just really relaxing just resting as much as I could I did get out and walk every single day a couple you know like every hour or two I would get out and walk either up and down the driveway or around I live in a cul-de-sac around the around the cul-de-sac or even down the street a little bit just a little bit every day to be moving and stuff and um that was really it pretty uneventful I got my fluids in um, didn't really have any problems. I didn't, there's no way I could have got 64 ounces. I was averaging around 30 ounces a day. Um, this morning I got, found this at Walmart and this is actually pretty good. It's called Protein 2O and this is Berry Splash. It has 15 grams of protein in it, zero sugars. So I've been sipping this for a little bit this morning and it's pretty good. I've also had a protein shake. I had the Premier Protein uh, caramel flavor. And this is empty. I've already drank this one. But this is really, really good. The caramel flavor Premier Protein. And it has 30 grams of protein in here. That's what I've had so far today. Um, I know this my second week I can start on thin soups. So for lunch I'm going to have some cream of chicken soup. See how that goes down. And um, I'm excited I can have pudding this week, which I'm excited about that. <laughs> I'm tired of just like straight water and liquids and everything. So that's pretty much what's going on with me. I did take today off as well from work just to kind of, um, I'm setting some goals for myself. I know last week I didn't do a whole lot and I didn't really track how much water I was drinking through my fitness pal or through a water app or anything. I didn't even write anything down. I was just kind of thinking in my head how many ounces I've had each day, which um, I know is kind of bad. I know I need to really be tracking it. So this week I'm going to track every single thing in my fitness pal. And also that's my goal this week is to track. And also one of my goals is to walk at least 30 minutes a day. Um, I'd like to do 30 minutes twice a day, but at least once a day I'm gonna walk 30 minutes. And I've already done that this morning. Took a shower, put some makeup on. I feel great. My incisions do are still a little bit sore, but they're not too bad. I think they're healing pretty pretty nicely. Um, I had a three day post op appointment with follow up appointment with my doctor. That was last Thursday. That went good. They said my incisions look great. I was doing great, and I don't have to go back for another month. I don't want to go back until like the middle of September. So, um. But yeah, other than the vitamin thing, I'm doing really good. Um, so that's what's going on. I just wanted to give you all a one-week update. Sorry, my dogs are going crazy. <laughs> Barking at something outside. But anyways, um, this is getting pretty long. I just wanted to give you all my one-week update. And I'm on the loser's bench. Yay! Eight pounds. I'm pretty excited. And I'll definitely post a week two update next week for you all. And I hope you all have an awesome day. Bye. Thank you.